What's up everybody? This is Patrick from WP Builder Helper and in today's video we're going to be talking about Brizzy's new pricing change. I wanted to talk about what they're doing and what I think you should do with this new change, uh, specifically affecting the people who use Brizzy Cloud. So if you're not a cloud user, you may not be interested in this, but there's some useful details I think nonetheless. So let's get started. Right, so this is not going to be a super long video, but if you're somebody who has invested in the Brizzy infrastructure, then you probably know as many people have seen on the community forums and everything else that Brizzy is changing their pricing. Um, at least, well, they're changing their pricing. It's it's weird. It's an all in one. They did a whole entire. Um, they did a whole entire video on it, which I'm not going to go over any of those pricing details. Needless to say, I'm just talking about Brizzy Cloud in this. I'm not talking about Brizzy Pro. So that's up to you. I've made my pretty much my opinion of what I think of uh, the Pro version and the Cloud version. And I think the Cloud version is uh, very, very good. But I wanted to go over what's what's happening and what you need to do if you're a lifetime uh, subscriber and you haven't started using the cloud and you're thinking about using the cloud. So let's jump in and let's go right to their cloud pricing. So first off, this is going to be the cloud pricing. You can see there's going to be after the 18th, there's going to be one website. 20 and 100 and they're going to go from 9 to 29 to 49. In all reality, this pricing is pretty much on par with what I would expect even their yearly. I mean 79, 299 and 499 for 100 hosted sites is not bad by any means for the cloud service. However, if you're someone who is uh, that has the lifetime service, well then at this point you get 2 years for free, but you can also get the chance for $99 right now to basically pay for the studio and you'll get unlimited sites. Um, and I don't think it's even on here, but if you pay for the studio right now, if you go, there's only so many, so many hours and days left for you to take advantage of this. You'll get unlimited Brizzy Cloud sites. Now, what some people were confused by in the uh, community, and if you go through all the posts, you'll see most of these are people who were, you know, this guy actually did a pricing chart just so you could see the difference and how much it's worth it or whatever the case is and how much you would recoup. Although this is uh, somewhat strange to me, I guess. I guess he's showing like if you just buy the regular Brizzy Studio, like how much you're saving compared to somebody who would buy the Brizzy Cloud agency. And I do agree. I think that um, it's stupid of someone not to buy Brizzy Cloud. And let me let me take this away real quick. Brizzy Cloud is still not developed to where I want it to be developed. There's still more things that it needs to do to get there, but the pricing for it is not bad. The pricing for it is $99 a year right now, and you get unlimited websites with that. Keep in mind, they say unlimited, but you cannot create too many websites fast. I saw a post in here somewhere where someone had actually created like 25 websites. It might have been on one of my other um my other groups that I was a part of, they created 25 websites and they basically got told by Brizzy, hey, wait a second, you're creating sites too fast. Like calm down. I don't know how long you have to wait for that cooldown period, but he was creating landing pages. And so Brizzy doesn't like you to create a whole bunch of sites really quick and kind of spam their service. But um, you can see there's a lot of people out here who are wondering. So if you're someone who has the current plan, okay, let's say you have the current lifetime plan, you already have two years. What happens afterwards? So, uh, you're not going to lose anything. You're going to keep the WordPress. This was just an added bonus. Um, and you're still going to keep Brizzy Cloud. You're going to be able to log into it. However, it's not going to be hosted by Brizzy. Now, 
when this first happened, I was like, well, wait a second. That's crazy. $99 for unlimited websites. I was like, I'm not paying that. If I can take and I can go out and I can, you know, just get my own service. Why would I take and get Brizzy? Well, I started looking at some of these other services that they have. And really and honestly, it's cheaper for you to get them to host it. Honestly, they're, they're uptime and everything for Brizzy Cloud. If you actually go here, um, let me see if I can actually find their cloud where it even says that you can access Brizzy Cloud. Let's go to the Brizzy Cloud website and specifically look through details and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, Brizzy Cloud's got a lot of things going for it right now that I don't think people are giving it enough credit for. It's a different type of builder. It was built on WordPress, but yet at the same time, oh, and this is the $99 deal that they're talking about. It was built on program. It was built on WordPress, but at the same time, there's a lot of good stuff that they've done with this. And I think it's only going to get better. Uh, I really like their service status. This is what I wanted to take you to. This actually shows you their uptime for the last couple of days. And you can see the Brizzy compiler had some downtime and stuff like that, but this is pretty good. And I actually went back through the calendar and I was looking at everything because I was curious. I was like, well, maybe I want to go with something like Netlify or one of these other uh, Jamstack because it's basically what they're doing is they're doing Jamstack hosting. And that's the type of um, software that Brizzy Cloud is built off of. So they've got a lot of, they've actually got a lot of hosts that you can do, but I think Netlify is one of them. I think it's Netlify. I can't remember it. I think it's this one. So Netlify is one of them. I built a site with it, but their pricing right off the bat, when you go look at it, you're not going to get unlimited websites. So for $99 a month, keep in mind, a month, you get uh, analytics and all of this that's coming, but you also get, they don't tell you, somewhere down here, they tell you just how, oh, here it is. So this is the amount of bandwidth you get. You only get 400 gigabytes a month. Now that's a lot for an average small website and you could run, even with the starter with the 100, you could run a lot of little tiny websites pretty well with this. You're not going to hit any kind of crazy numbers, but I'm going to say, you know, for a thousand visitors, maybe even 2000 and 3000, depending on what you're hosting and what you're showing them, you're going to get away with that easy. And you could probably do that several times over. So you could do that two or three times with little smaller websites. The reason that it counts more is when you start looking at this column, which is the pro column, which is where this is where you need to start being. So $19 a month for the pro column and you're getting 400 gigabytes and it gives you build minutes. You're not going to use build minutes. If you're doing it with Brizzy, you're probably not going to need that. And obviously it tells you unlimited websites. And then it also tells you if you exceed it, you start paying extra money when you exceed your maximum. Now, this is where it gets scary. If you're hosting a bunch of uh, websites for people who are uh, clients or whatever, and they have some crazy article or crazy video that goes viral, you can start paying big time for the bandwidth. Now, I still don't to this day know what Brizzy does. I know it's on AWS, and I'm sure that there's something that they do to kind of limit that exposure, limit their exposure so it doesn't crash everything. I think we saw at one point earlier this year that there was a point where their the actual IAP, the IP address for cloud was like blacklisted for like a day or something like that. But regardless, the bandwidth aspect of this is so much better. So if I were you, if I were somebody who had the LTD and I am going to be one of those people who has it, um, I'm going to jump on their bandwagon with their new pricing structure, specifically the the $99 uh, Brizzy Cloud pricing structure, which is right here. I would take chance of their studio, their studio stuff. Uh, still not where I want it to be. There's still some things that I want to see them do. But if you're somebody who's trying to break away from WordPress and you're somebody who's trying to get into a different type 
of website building, this is it. And that's a really good deal for unlimited websites, unlimited landing pages, blog functionality, pop-ups, web stories, all of those features. As a matter of fact, I feel sometimes like cloud's moving faster than WordPress, and I don't think that I'm the only one. I think there are other people out there who think that too. So that's just my opinion, but I hope that clears that up for some of the people who are asking questions. I know there's been a lot of questions in the community, but I think you would be silly not to take a look at cloud. After looking at the prices, and you could go look at the prices of not just Netlify, go look at, I think there's uh, Vendel or something like that. There's another one. There's like AWS. There's all of those. You're going to pay an arm and a leg for the bandwidth. The bandwidth is where you're going to get screwed because you're not getting unlimited bandwidth as if you were with Brizzy Cloud. You're also not going to get unlimited visits. So it kind of feels good to buy that $99 deal. I'm just saying. That's me. That's my take. You do what you want. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.